guys welcome back to my channel sitting pretty with jay my name is janelle and today i'm going to be doing a review on the new juvia's place eye primer that just came out and this is what the actual tube looks like And then I'm going to swatch the color on the back of my hand. It's very smooth and creamy. It comes in three shades. There's a white shade, a neutral, and a dark shade. My Ulta only had the white and the neutral shade. And I wanted to show you guys how it looks compared to the P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 4. And this is the P. Louise next to the Juvia's Place. I feel like the P. Louise is definitely thicker than the Juvia's Place. They're both creamy. The Juvia's Place one cost $12. The P. Louise base cost $15, so there's only a $3 difference. And you do get a little bit more product in the P. Louise base. You get 15 milliliters, and in the Juvia's, you get 12 milliliters. I also have the Anastasia eye primer. So this is Juvia Skin, P. Louise, and Anastasia Beverly Hills. On one eye, I'm going to apply the P. Louise base. And I'm just going to take a small beauty sponge and blend it out. The other eye, I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place. Oops. Probably put a little too much. It's a little bit more liquidy than the P. Louise base. And I'm using another sponge for this side. So this one's a clean sponge. <laughs> Eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini Palette. I'm going to start off with this nude shade right here. shade which is this brown This really deep purple shade down here.
go into the violets palette and i'm going to use a couple purple shades in here i'm going to start off with this dark purple right here Cause I just felt like the dark purple in the magic palette just wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. Use the light purple shade right here. And help diffuse the color a little bit. crease on both sides. I'm going to do the P. Louise base first. And I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. pan and then I am going to use the silver shade right next to it and put that in the inner part of the cut crease and then I'm gonna go back into the violets palette and use that same dark purple and just fix up the outer corner I feel like purple is like such a tricky color to work with sometimes especially the darker purples then we're gonna cut the crease with the Juvia's Place Primer. I'll be very careful with squeezing out the Juvia's Place because I accidentally squeezed out like way too much. It probably doesn't look like that much, but it looks like a lot to me. I'm not going to use this much. So I'm just going to take another shader brush, a clean one. I'm going to just use a little bit and then cut the crease on this side looks a little bit more blended together it looks a lot more pigmented on the lid compared to the P. Louise base I have like some patching and stuff going on here ok 
Okay, so I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the primer. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. This was the side with the Juvia's Place and this was the side with the P. Louise. I feel like this side is a little bit more vibrant than this side. And I felt like the purple blended a little bit better on the Juvia's Place side as well. Um, for my final thoughts, I think I like the Juvia's Place a little bit more than the P. Louise. Especially since with the Juvia's Place, even though you get like a little bit less product, a little bit goes a long way. I accidentally pumped way too much on the back of my hand and I barely used like even half of what I had on my hand. I probably used only a fourth of what was on my hand to cut the crease. I think if I were like out of both of these eye primers and I just had to buy one, I would probably go with the Juvia's Place eye primer I hope they come out with a face primer too because I really really love their foundation I'm actually wearing it right now and everything else I'm wearing will be in the description bar down below so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you have any questions leave that in the comment section down below and I'll answer them and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye guys